Kadeen. Welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to be talking to you today about five new NARS lipsticks that I recently received. It's from the Cinematic line and I don't want to say this name because it's French and I don't want to mess it up but okay I'm going to put my big girl panties on. It's from the Guy Bourdain collection. Hope I pronounced that properly. Sorry my French people if I didn't but they're great colors. They're very pigmented. They slide on so creamy. You know what's funny? A lot of people talk about NARS in reference to their blushes. Like their blushes are celebrated. They're like, oh my God, the orgasm blush and the Taj Mahal and this and that. And in fact, I do have quite a few of their blushes. I keep them in my kit. I use them on myself, but I must say that their lipsticks deserve special mention. They have really great lipstick formulas that always somehow manage to feel just smooth and moisturizing. There's something here for everybody. There's a neutral everyday color. There's a hot pink. There's a like vibrant neon type purplish violet magenta color. There's an orange, a bright orange that's great on tanned brown skin in my opinion. And there's a beautiful juicy red which I love. So I'm sure you can find something here for yourself that will work for you. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. <laughs> now the first one is called Last Tango. It is a uh, described as a dusty rose. I'm wearing it right now. I'm not wearing any liner because I wanted you to see the true color. Normally, um, you know, I'd probably put like a medium brown liner around my lips just to give it a little bit more definition. But I want, wanted you to see the true color of the lipstick and it's really nice. I think this is a great everyday color if you're going to work, if you work in a corporate environment where, you know, it's a little bit stuffy and restricted and you don't want to be too bold or out there, then this is perfect. Or if you're just a person that you don't really wear lipstick or makeup that often, but you know, you want to kind of add a little something and you don't want it to be too uh, noticeable, but just a more natural color, then I think this is great for that. So here it is, Goodbye Emmanuel. It's a pretty blue based pink. It's uh, described as hot pink. It's perfect for the summertime. It's perfect if you want something bright and vibrant, you want to stand out. Now I personally would wear it with a lip liner, probably a plum colored lip liner to kind of, you know, give my lips, I just feel like it's just lips all over the place. It needs something to hold it in. It needs to be contained. It needs to have some kind of definition. But as I mentioned, I wanted you to see the true colors. I didn't want to taint it with anything else so this is what you're seeing the goodbye manual pure and unadulterated on my lips now what I have on is full frontal doesn't that sound very risque like I dare you to wear it full frontal anyways <laughs> nurse calls it a uh, rose violet I would describe it as a bright purple, a bright pinky purple, a fuchsia, a neon magenta color. I think that's what it is because I'm wearing um, my MAC magenta lip pencil with it and I think it's just very close in color. So it's like a magenta, neon magenta. All right, now this baby is called Short Circuit. NARS describes it as a fire coral. I say it's a bright orange, okay? <laughs> Simple as that, bright orange. That's what it looks like to me. Now, I hope the camera is picking it up correctly because sometimes I know that it picks it up as like a red. This is not a red, this is definitely an orange. So don't you fear, you're gonna get that orange color. I and mean, I love it on like, you know, tanned and dark complexion. I love it on brown skin. I think it's just so vibrant, it just, pops out at you and it just works so well so this is one of my favorites i don't know if i can choose my favorite out of the five but i can definitely say i have an affinity to this one short circuit orange one okay now we're on to the final lipstick the 
fifth one, the last one, but certainly not least, it is Future Red. Nars describes it as a cherry red, and I would certainly agree because my lips just feel so juicy. It's just so brightly red and so glossy. I just feel so juicy, 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 juicy. And I'm not even lying. I think it's a great red to have in your collection. I wore it on Christmas Day. I felt so festive. I felt vibrant. I felt alive. I even got a couple, a couple of compliments on my way to my mom's house. I was on the train. I was like, yes. It's my red lipstick, isn't it? It's this juicy red that's getting you, isn't it? <laughs> All right, but um, it's great as, you know, the rest of the lipsticks is full coverage. It's, and I'm surprised because usually lipsticks that are this glossy, they're not necessarily as, they tend to be more sheer in my opinion or in my experience, I should say. But this one is glossy as hell, but it, it's very pigmented. So you're you're getting that co full color. You're getting the full the fullness of it. You're getting the richness of it. You're getting everything of it. Okay. I would definitely recommend this. I love this. I'm excited about the color, and um, I'm glad I got this. And I already have like tons of red colors. I have Mac Ruby Woo. I have the Stila All Day Liquid and Lipstick and I think Fiery. I have uh, Makeup Forever number. I don't even remember the number, but I just have so many red lipsticks, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say I regret getting this as well. Some, sometimes you're like, okay, I don't, really don't need this. It's just like another added thing to my collection that I'm probably never gonna wear. Not this one. I'm so happy I got another juice and juice and juice lipstick. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? Okay, well there you go, there you have it. I have showed you all five colors. I have tried it all on my lips. You've seen swatches, pictures, and the like. Now it's your turn to decide. You the people, make the decision. Let me know what color you think looks best on me, which suits me the best, which one you'd like least on me and why, and which one are you gonna choose? Which one are you gonna choose for yourself? Let me know, leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Final one, the fifth one. Wait, I'm not even wearing it. I was about to introduce it. Never mind. Sorry, I'm about to put on Future Red. One sec, I'll be back. It does. It does. Well, that's so feel. You know what? Whoa. I wore it on Christmas Day. I dropped the damn remote. One sec. Yes, I talked about the Future Red, which I'm wearing right now in the bright orange, which is on my down in the purple it's it's so workable and the pink hot pink pink ink ink and the the neutral color do you want me to do it the right way the right way yeah, yeah. let me know let me know let me know let me know i love to say it in case you haven't noticed y'all don't know y'all don't even know the half that's it i'm done i'm done <laughs> mm, goodbye